Hey guys, what's going on? MD Interactive here. Um, working in Blender, actually, um, I am really starting to like animation, and uh, I actually thought, well, why not delve into it a little bit more and get to know the program. So, uh, yeah, just downloading a bunch of templates, uh, basically solving the the how blender works uh option by option and uh, it's it's a slow process i haven't been able to make an animation myself yet however i learned a lot uh especially the last weeks since i i put some more time in it uh long evenings uh, just uh, trying to get a couple of nice ocean renders out which are pretty sweet actually and also managed to render them in 2k and might even go higher however this is something else entirely and I won't be able to render this one out on 2k <laughs> easily because it will take a huge amount of time this animation right here um, I hope to upload it tomorrow it will be done tomorrow night the render so you're gonna see that online then um, it might take about 18 hours to finish uh, rendering on my computer. It's uh, in 720p, uh, 128720. Um, it has, at the moment, uh, the final resolution of the water is 350. Could go higher a little bit, um, but still, I'm actually uh, happy about how it looks. Um, if you want to see how it looks, this is how it will look um, finalized in the render animation. Um, this is actually a template of another YouTube user uh, who uh, managed to uh, make this and put it online and uh, he has been uh, so nice to uh, make it uh, public the template so i have uh, been working on his template to get it really um, to know how to do it basically how to bake uh, the simulation and uh, it took a long while to figure out how to bake a simulation but i understand it now um, used to, there's a lot of options and a lot of different things in Blender and that can be um, a little bit um, um, hard to understand at first, especially if you are new. So, um, but now I understand, for instance, here the domain, that is the water. Um, and you can here click um, and see the actual modifiers and know uh, what they do and then you have here the uh, basically your properties of uh, the different settings uh, render layers or uh, modifiers of the different things um, so I am slowly understanding that um, it is really complex program you can do anything with this you can make whole movies uh, once you figure it out but um, for now I am just stuck on learning how to make my own animation eventually I hope to uh, but either way I wanted to show you guys this um, so here you have the baked animation of the fluid He has done a really good job actually on making this. Just the, the cube and the um, cylinder over here. And I managed to tweak it a little bit actually. Um, if you haven't seen this animation on YouTube yet, um, you'll notice that I have um, actually changed this, um, this pipe to be glossy so it reflects the um, the, the environment
environment. And you can also see that in the in the water. So you have different lighting in this scene. And also he uh, had a little bit uh, different... Um, he had a neutral grey background in that template. And I, 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 I basically uh, modified that and put another uh, HDR environmental map in it. Um, with a little bit of uh, a bluish, orangish uh, hue. Nothing else. Uh, you still have the gray and the white here, so that is um, good for the for the overall uh, color. I think uh, not to uh, put too much uh, uh, different things in the background. But you could go many ways uh, actually uh, darker. Here it is one more time. I can put it in a better. Uh, It looks a little bit strange now, but that is because there is nothing to render. I can actually, uh, yeah, you can do this, but then it would take a huge while. Anyway, I can do this. Here you can see it dropping. This is actually a pretty nice feature. This is done by the GPU, I think, mostly. You can actually have a really fast three-dimensional view of this. I'm surprised how fast it renders. To a radium. Good for bitcoins, I guess, so good for rendering. It looks awesome. It would be nice to have some more uh, other camera um, corners, but I'm working on that. I know how to move the camera. That is no problem. Don't think I, I, I don't know how to move the camera. It's just that I don't know how to animate the camera like he did. So, um, but here if I do this, then I have the camera. So here you have the actual shot. And uh, yeah. And the best shot is when there's a second burst of water coming in. And then it makes a splash. Like this. As you can see, uh, the water is quite detailed. Pretty balanced. So I actually tweaked these settings a little bit. So now I have that one frame renders in about one minute. So pretty, pretty good actually, optimization wise. Um, rendering an entire fluid simulation now in, uh, in, 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 in about half a day. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video, take it easy, and thanks for watching.